What is going on, investors? That's right. Kathy Wood is launching a new ETF today on March 30th under the ticker symbol ARKX. This one is focused on stocks in the space exploration and innovation field. Today, I'm going to walk you through what is in the ETF. So if you're buying the ETF, what stocks are in it? and whether or not this is a good buy for your portfolio. So whenever you buy any ETF, whether it's a Kathy Wood ETF from ARK Invest or any other one, what you want to do is come over and take a look at the holdings. Now, they conveniently take a look at the top 10 holdings, and these are the core positions inside this ETF. But when you expose it, there are 39 names here. And what I did initially was highlight the names that you might have have in your portfolio already. We have JD.com, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, NVIDIA, Deer, Amazon, Google, Garmin, Virgin Galactic, which I think people thought would have a higher weighting inside this ETF. You've got Airbus, you've got Alibaba, they've the US dollar, which is basically sitting around waiting to be invested as well. You got Netflix in here, which is kind of an interesting one. Honeywell, Taiwan Semiconductor, Tencent, and Autodesk. So those are some mega cap companies that you might have exposure to already. And so you want to keep that in mind when you buy another ETF, you're getting maybe even more exposure to stocks that you already own. Now on the right hand column here, we have this weight percentage. This is showing you the weighting of these stocks. Obviously the higher up we go, the more emphasis that this ETF places on these stocks. So what I'm going to do is just focus on these top four stocks because they are the cornerstones of this ETF as it initially launched. Now, the first thing I want to point out is actually the second biggest holding in this is the 3D printing ETF owned by, guess who? ARK Invest. So ARK Invest, the second highest holding is actually an ETF that ARC already operates. And you notice here that the top holding is Trimble Incorporated, ticker symbol TRMB. We'll take a look at their financials here in just a second. But notice that is in the top 10 holdings here as well. And there's other companies. So you're actually getting kind of double exposure here. So that was interesting, I thought. Now, speaking of Trimble, it is the number one holding with a pretty solid 8.47% weight inside this brand new ETF that goes live today. Now, what's interesting about Trimble is this is a company that's been around for a very long time, or at least been public since 1992. I was all of 10 years old when this thing went public. Now, what I noticed when I jumped into their financials, very steady company over the last year though so we have our fiscal years up here 19 over 20 what I noticed is total revenue actually trended down over the last year but they were able to expand their gross margins from 54 percent up to 55.8 percent and that led to an operating income at around 420 million dollars compared to 375 million dollars in the previous year. Now, once this ETF got announced today and the holdings got announced, well, some of these stocks have already taken off, including Kratos Defense and Security S Solutions, ticker symbol KTOS. And this is another stock that has been around for a very long time. It's been public since the late 1990s, believe it or not, and maybe split adjusted. This stock has been way higher and it's really just been flatlining for many, many years. So it's interesting that Kathy Wood's team has picked this one up. When we jump into the financials, we see here a company that has been very steady. And in fact, over the last 12 months here, 19 over 20, we see that total revenues went from 717 million up to 747 million. And we see here total gross profit went from 190 up to $203 million. When you got a $3 billion market cap and you're clearing about $200 million to the gross profit side, these companies aren't necessarily tremendously overvalued. And when you get the attention of Kathy Wood behind it, it could propel the stock even higher. Now, when we look at the fourth largest holding, it is L3 Harris Technologies. This is a company also been around for a very long time. In fact, 
since 1990, this stock has been publicly traded on the stock market. It's got a pretty big market cap here at about $40 billion. When you come into the financials, they are a little more complex, but to make a summary as easy as possible, we've got our four quarters ended here in January over this year as well. And we see that our revenues actually ticked up very nicely over the last year. And it did flow down into the net income side, although not nearly as good as the previous year when we were at $1.3 billion, down to about $1 billion in the most recent year. Now, we go over these top four companies because the way Kathy Wood structures her ETFs is she puts her high con she puts a lot of money and a lot of weight into her highest conviction names. You know, think Tesla, think Roku, and think some of these other stocks like Teladoc that she's really gone all in over the last few years. And so these companies do get a lot of attention. But one thing that I think that all investors should think about when they think about maybe purchasing this ETF is there's a large number of private space companies, think Elon Musk's SpaceX, maybe even Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin. There's dozens of other space exploration type stocks that are currently private companies that are looking to potentially go public over the next year or so. And so it could be that Kathy Wood is really just setting up this ETF to generate the funds to really buy into the upcoming IPOs. And that could be your greatest reason to buy this ETF. Now, should you buy the ARK-X ETF? Here's the decision. Here's one way that I personally would make the decision. First of all, they make all the disclosures, all the stocks public here on their website, and they update it basically daily. And so you could theoretically create this portfolio yourself without paying the 0.75% expense fee that you do to ARK Invest ETFs. So you could do this yourself. And the other thing to keep in mind is there are some big gigantic mega cap companies in here that you might have exposure to already. Now, if you don't want to do all that work or if a lot of these companies are not in your portfolio, well, certainly getting exposure through an ETF, especially an actively managed ETF where you literally have human beings behind this ETF making decisions on a daily basis opposed to kind of a passively managed ETF, much like this print 3D printing ETF, where it's really just computer algorithms and indexes making the decisions on what is inside the portfolio. So in short, I think it's an interesting ETF. There's plenty of names on here where I doubt a lot of you and myself included have a lot of exposure, especially to the companies that I don't have highlighted here. But what I would keep a very close eye on is the companies that are going to go public in this space in the near future. That could be the great opportunity. And if for whatever reason, that ARK is able to get in early on those companies, maybe at the IPO price of something like SpaceX, Blue Origin, or some of these other space exploration stocks coming public, well, that could be great value for you, the individual investor. So that is ARK X. We'll see what happens with this one. Certainly monitor it going forward. Leave me any questions or comments down below. Maybe even consider hitting that like or subscribe button. Hopefully you guys have a great day out there. Good luck with your investments.